This is Gabriela Martinez, and you're in the mix with DJ JR. <laughs> Hey, what's up, what's up, amiga? Hi, how are you? Uh, very good, very good. How you doing? I'm doing great, thriving. Que bueno, que bueno, que bueno. Well, all right, let me go ahead and, and go ahead and start this. Um, um, well, Raza, um, all my Tejanos out there and Tejanitas, uh, thank you for checking in with your boy DJ JR. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Gabriela Martinez right here to the show. Hello, thank you. How you doing? Que bueno, que bueno. Este, so, like I said, I, I want to start off with this. I thought you were from the Valley. <laughs> so you're from Florida, right? Yes, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Tampa, so that's where you're originally from? Yeah, born and raised. I've been here my whole life. Awesome, awesome. So I kind of, I guess, were you visiting in the Valley? Because I, I guess that's why I thought you were from the Valley. Uh, no, I was actually living in the Valley for some time while we were finishing up the EP. So, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Este, but let me, let me, let's get to, to the deal. Let's, the, let's let the people know a little bit about yourself. You know I me. Mean? Este, um, so how long, how long have you been, um, singing or like, let's just say when maybe you started to like want to sing or something since, so did you start very young or something? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I've always been singing. That's just, oh. that's just been, a th it's like, since I could talk, I've been singing like everything I can. I think. Okay. I mean, throughout middle school, high school was when I started getting more serious with singing, just doing like talent shows and like really finding the type of music that I like, like the styles that I liked. Okay. Um, and, you know, ever since I was a little girl too, like I've just loved to perform. I did musicals, I've done, you know, acting, dancing, whatever I could just to perform. So okay. I started taking it a lot more serious, um, you know, when i guess when COVID hit is when i was like you know what, let me just start making tiktoks let me just see because there was nothing else to do we were all like trapped yeah. inside of our houses you know and i was in college at the time so i um i was doing i was doing college work while also trying to like come up and just make videos and see what people liked and oh. yeah from there i just i'm here now so so you'd say that you started taking this like um more serious like when all the stuff happened with the with the COVID and all that stuff yeah, I would say that's one because I was, I was, I finished my, I'm only, I'm 20. So I finished my degree last December. Um, and, you know, at 20 years old, it's kind of hard to figure out what you really want to do. Um, I got you, so I got you. I, I just kind of, I kept asking myself, I honestly, I took a trip to Spain for a month. I'm not even going to lie to you because I wow. wanted to learn more Spanish, but I also wanted to kind of figure out what I'm doing with my life because I knew like that summer after the fall, I was going to mm -hmm. graduate and I knew I wanted to perform. So I just, I kept working towards it. And then I got picked up by the label and there you yeah. go. Mark. And there goes on um, my, and when did this um uh, album, this EP that you did, when did it come out? It came did out it, the 27th uh, of May. The 27th of May. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So it's the, um, um, did, um, did anybody inspire you? Like as far as like an artist that you would say, like, that you know about into music and stuff like that who would you say i have a lot so really? <laughs> a whole bunch I really, of no i really do in terms of like like my latin artist uh, definitely Rosie Zucal. i love her ballads i think she is like one of the top like everyone that knows me knows i love her um, oh she's awesome of course selena you know selena's an inspiration for so many other people um but i've also been i've been inspired by a lot of um motown artists as well growing up like old the oldies amy winehouse bruno mars freddie mercury oh, of These course of course all shakira i love shakira too like, i oh. think she's like one of the best performers ever so people like that it's just i grew up with a lot of different music around me so yeah. i i've just taken all my influences and i i hope that that is shown within the ep because all of the songs are so different but they all mm -hmm have a little taste of what I personally love, the styles of music I love. Okay. So, so um, uh, like you said, you listen to, like the way that, like you listen to R&B, pop and everything, right? Yeah. So, um, what, what, um, what, what made you shoot towards like the, um, like the Tejano, you know, Norteño kind of style, you know what I mean? What made you go that direction? So honestly, 
I just, I wanted to create. I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be a performer. And I just started making music. I wanted Latin for sure. I knew I knew I wanted to do Latin music, but there's so many different branches of Latin music. Of that course. We just, started, we just started creating. And then the Tejanos kind of adopted me in a way. If that really? Makes sense. Like they were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, because the first song is a ranchera, like my, my No Hay Nadie, that was the first song that I came out with. So people are like, oh my gosh, the Tejanos loved it. Um, the people that love Norteño, they loved it. Like so many yeah. different people loved it. And they just kind of like took me under their wing. And, you know, I just, I just wanted to create, I wanted to be someone that was open to all types of genres. Cause I truly believe music has no boundaries. So. Oh, of course. The yeah. Tejanos, they were like, Hey, and I was like, "Hey, here we are." So, cool, cool. So, let me ask you something. Um, uh, you said since when you started, um, uh, as far as you said when, when that happened, you said when the when the COVID uh hit, and you know you were you know we're all at home and all this stuff. You said that's when you said, "Okay, let me go ahead and do this." Now, um, este, when when that hit, were you in Florida or were you in the valley? I was in Florida. I have only been in the valley from literally. I spent New Year's on an air mattress in my new place. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, and I was there from January 1st till about May. All right. So. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, um, so it's kind of, well, it's kind of crazy for, to, to, the way I see it, like, you know, you being so far away from Texas, you know, how, um, how you got into the music, like, as far as, like, that style of music that, that honestly nobody would ever imagine that you're from florida i mean i you know you're like a like a text that was texas music you know what i mean like like that you know and um did you hear like a lot of tejano music and stuff like that oh like, yeah like, yeah yeah no did, before tejano, tejano's a thing in florida too especially where really? i'm from like because plant city there's a city so it's like tampa then brandon then riverview there's plant city and plant city in lakeland especially they're big, okay. they're really big on Tejano. I actually have a performance coming up in July in Florida, um, and it's at a Tejano venue. So okay. It's pretty, like, wow. a lot of people are like, it's like, you know, but a lot of Floridians, they like it as well. So, but I'm actually relocating back to Texas um, very soon because okay. I have a lot of, I have a lot of things in Texas and it just, you know, Texas has become like a second home for me. So okay. I will be back. That's cool. That's cool. It's the, yeah, the reason why I ask is because, like, like I, honestly, I, I haven't. Um, uh, I think there was some. Um, it's the, there's a couple of groups like they're from like um, like Ohio and stuff like Michigan and stuff yeah. like that. You know, it's kind of and then I started um, uh, noticing that lately. You know what I mean? I was like, what the hell? There's like all kinds of groups out there. You know, and, and this they're is moving. like it's all over yeah, the map. Exactly, it's going, it's going up. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Well, let's see. Este, um, so we we are, we already talked about you like R and B music, like in all kinds of other styles of music. Este, um, would you ever be thinking of singing something else, like later on in the future, like maybe like maybe like a pop album, maybe R and B style, maybe, or what do you think? Um, I mean, I love all. I I think maybe a fusion. I want the base of everything I do to be Latin, just yeah. because. Um, I I really resonate with Latin music. I always have, you know, because it's just what you grow up with. It's my roots. It's who I am. So I would love to do like if it was like Latin pop, or like it could be anything at this point. Like I just yeah. as long as the base of everything stays true to what I like, like Latin, we're good. I'd be I'm awesome. open to anything. So awesome, awesome. Is there, is there any um uh, right now like is there is there any like Tejanos? that you admire right now like oh, yeah. on the scene right now there's a like, lot that's... <laughs> for sure um savannah v sonia de la paz shelly lares there's also okay. a lot of like alice she's she's coming up she's about my age as well she's amazing madison polido about my age as well um a lot of great people carla christina you know oh yeah that I, that I look up to and especially like the girls that are around my age too that we're just kind of coming up together and then we have the women the other women that have been in it longer just you know mentoring us and guiding us it's really it's really helpful and it's great it's amazing okay awesome is there is there any like um uh, you say you're gonna be coming down to texas and, and you're gonna be spending some time here yes. is, there, is there anybody that you would that you would like to collaborate with like you say like that'd be cool like to collaborate with that 
singer. Is yes. there anybody that you, you, you ever thought of something like that? Sonia, de la, Sonia, Sonia huh? for sure. Sonia de la Paz. Oh yeah, she has a strong voice. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I love. You sing like rock and roll and everything. <laughs> no, I love, I love everyone. I think, honestly, Sonia, I would love to do something with because she, I think, our color, like our tone, is very like gritty. Yeah, you yeah, have a little, like, red, little tough little yeah, voice. Yeah, like, we yeah, have there you like go. Choking on something. <laughs> 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 this is, this is how we say. No, but like, I love. I was, I was telling my mom the the other day, like everyone's voice is so different and then mm -hmm. there's like like madison polido for example she's amazing i love her Shout oh, out to Madison, yeah. but she has like the cute like her voice is so dainty and light like i can't do that i can't sing oh, like that yeah, but i of love course, it yeah. like the colors the colors are different you need different colors in every style of music because it gives it its you know diversity and i just i love what i've been hearing and i love you know making all of the friendships that i have been through okay. music but for sure, I would say Sonia, just because, you know, I think we can, like... No, that's cool. Yeah, she seems, she seems like a real super awesome person. And like I said, I've, I've, I've seen her once, and but she does, I know she does, like, she's real busy as well. She's always doing those, those shows. I see I see her shows, uh, you know, when she posts them. And, man, she's like, she sings, like, some rock and, you know, and she switches it up like everything, you know what I mean? So that's cool. I think I think that would be an awesome collaboration. Yeah, so let's take them up. See, otra cosa, let's see, so let the raza know them. Uh, what other hobbies that you got? Like, other than I know, you know, you sing and stuff. Is there anything else, like, that you like doing, like, on your own, like, your free time and stuff? Oh, like yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I love the beach, but I grew up in Florida. So, the beach, like, Clearwater is, like, 30 minutes. Wow, like, that's literally awesome. literally across the bridge. Bush Gardens, 20-minute drive. and It's an amusement park. Disney's an hour away. Universal's an hour away. So, Lucky. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I know. So, I love, I'm a beach girl for sure. I love to hike. Like, I love, you know, I went to Las Vegas. I literally just hiked, like, the whole time. Um, my dog is behind the curtain. That's... <laughs> <laughs> um, I love to hike. I love amusement parks. I just, those are, like, my three. Oh, and watching. I like going out to eat and watching shows. It could be any show. It could be, like, a band performance. It could be a musical. Like, it's beach, amusement parks, hiking, and dinner and a show. That's, yeah, like, my... Right. That's awesome. So you stay, yeah. you like to stay active, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't, I can't sit still. It's like impossible. <laughs> like when I'm sick, it's awful because like my mom will like be like, Abby, you need to chill out, you need to rest. And I'm like, no, I need to like run a marathon. Like, what are we doing? You know? like. Hey, be like, yeah, let me go run. Let, let, let me sweat this out. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how I am. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's cool. So, so I noticed, um, I was, you know, I look at at um that you're coming to San Antonio soon, aren't you? A show you're gonna do you're yes. gonna do at the, the Market Square, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be in Market Square on July second, which is really mm -hmm. exciting. It's my second time being there. Um, Nicholas mm -hmm. is amazing. He's just been helping with so much. Um, I'm gonna be there for that. I'm also gonna be at a pop up event for Alicia Cintron. She sings um Después de Todo. I don't know if you've heard it, but she's amazing. I'm doing a pop-up event for her July 16th. Okay. Um, I also have another performance July 23rd. And yeah. And, oh, I, and I have is, another. That, is that here? Is that here in Texas? Yeah, these are all going to be in Texas. Wow. And then I have, um, I'm going to be singing at an event, a back-to-school event at Uvalde for the, the kiddos, you know, when they come back. And there's going to be, a, like, games and, you know, school supplies for them, you know, just to try to help as much as we can that's the day before they go back to school and then i know august 6th as well i have a car show where i'm going to be performing and i have a meet and greet so that's gonna oh. be san antonio as well so. okay wow man you got it man you might as well just come over here to texas live over here that's what i'm doing <laughs> i am i'm relocating yeah <laughs> all right wow okay that's cool that's cool um uh, so all right este so i want to let the raza know and you know or you can let them know th about your um your album it's the your ep album yeah um where it's it's um soy gabriela right that's the name yeah. of the title of the album right it's the i heard it when they sent it to me right it's super awesome like thank you i shared um your your other the no no sugar daddy yeah man that when I heard it, the first time I heard it, I said, man, it sounds hype, man. You know, <laughs> when you play that jam, do people go start dancing like crazy or what? Well, yeah, I actually performed it. I performed my whole EP the first time at Market Square because I performed the 28th for mm -hmm. Memorial Weekend. And 
like everyone was just like you know like you could see people like nodding and then there was like two guys in the middle that were like dancing non-stop like they were like really? the whole set like just dancing non-stop <laughs> and i was like this is great like this is really cool so <laughs> yeah it's super awesome and you know listen to you know and that ep album so the rest i could know um it says on what it's a five five song right ep six songs six songs sorry yeah and, I, and I was checking them out I was like man it's like so so mixed up so awesome because you got like kind of like a smooth norteña then that no no sugar daddy i don't know how you would say it, but to me it sounds like a little bit of has like a country like a country music style That's, with, yeah with, it has with the electric guitar but then it sounds like the cumbia or I don't know, just crazy. It sounds that's why I said that sounds so awesome. So so versatile. You got that one. Then you got the the slow ranchera. Te vas a arrepentir. Te vas a arrepentir. The, that's an awesome. And este um and then the two, which is that's a little cumbia, and then 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 right. And that's some um, uh, like it's kind of like like a rock, right? Like kind of like a has. Well, it kind of sounds. How would you explain that song? Then then then. Honestly, I think it sounds more like I one of my um. One of my biggest inspirations is Camila Cabello as well. Oh, okay, so okay, I yeah. Like, yeah, I love her. So I, it's more of like a Latin, like you know, like yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say rock kind of because it had like all kinds of instruments in there. You know, it's like you know, it's it's just awesome. You know, yeah. <laughs> este yeah, lo no, que, it's que, y que me tengo que ir. That yes. one, awesome. Did um, do you write music? Yeah, I help. We I helped to write some of the songs. Which was exciting. It was really cool to be able to be a part of that, and you know, just awesome, have a awesome. piece of me in it as well. <laughs> que bueno, que bueno. Well, all right. Este, well, like I said, right now we already with the raza is watching. Este, and like I said, for the people that didn't get to um, check in with us, it, it doesn't matter because, like I said, we I'm gonna go ahead and edit this, and they can watch it on my YouTube channel. Right. already edited and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put the songs at the end just a preview so they can check it out right. so they can just go directly to spotify or you know whatever major platform they want to mm -hmm. check it out on and stream it you know it's the and like i said i like to do this because I, I like to um, uh, support you know especially upcoming singers you know because uh thanks to to y'all you know y'all keep y'all keep the movement going that's yeah. so awesome you know y'all keep I'm the glad. culture alive you know and that's that's super awesome and i love to see like new talent you know um it's just really good to see that you know um you know there's a lot of people that you know like the icons you know they're always gonna be there people are always gonna watch them and right. stuff like that but like i said you know music like the stuff that you bring to the table that's super awesome you know and and like i said every little chance that i get when i'm out and about you know and playing you know somewhere i like to spend that music so the people can check it out you know what i mean and, and go check you out you know what i mean yeah <laughs> And stream I'm glad. Your music. thank you and stream thank your music you. and stuff you know what i mean so este so right before i let you go este do you want to give a shout out to um anybody yes of course i just want to give a shout out to first of all all of the ladies um in the industry alongside with me that have been supporting me and have just been sending me the nicest messages and just, you know mentoring me if they've been in it you know obviously longer than me this is my I it hasn't even been a full year for me yet in this industry. So thank you to y'all. I love y'all's music. I love the way you are doing things. So keep going. Also to my family, my sister, my brother, my parents for being so supportive. I love y'all more than you'll ever know. And lastly to the fans and to everyone that has been, you know, making fan art, sending me messages, requesting me, booking me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it so so much and I'm really excited to see where the rest of this year's go year goes I have a lot of exciting things in store so yeah awesome awesome well all right amiga este so I'd like to thank you Gabriela Martinez for being right here on my little Tejano show and stuff like that and also gonna be on YouTube very soon este and I wish you the best and you know in the future and Toto Musica and everything like that este and just keep going you know because you, you rock girl <laughs> thank you all right Rata. so <laughs> that was gabriela martinez este y'all check out her music um it's on every major platform the title of the ep album is soy gabriela y'all check it out it has six jams on there little mix of everything so trust me i know you're gonna like it <laughs> thank you so much amiga thank you for coming out here of course yes peace out 
Your boy DJ JR. I'm an host. Bye bye.
lo verás No me verás jamás Llórate más Dejaste que en mi pecho Se clavará Toditos los desprecios Que me daban Que igual te toque a ti Lo que sufrí Que sientas el dolor Que yo sentí Alguien te destroce el corazón Que piso te y jueguen con tu amor Te vas a arrepentir Te va a doler el alma Cuando pagues caro tu error Y te des cuenta que fui yo Lo que necesitaba Esto no era lo que estaba dentro de nuestros planes Pero tengo que seguir lo que me dice mi corazón Me tengo que ir 